You've decided to hit the gym and start exercising again. And whether it's because it's a mid-year resolution or just because, it's important to keep in mind your safety. If it's been a while, it's important to not rush back into where you left off in terms of amount of weights or the distance you're able to run. I spoke with Champions Health and Fitness owner Greg Lassiter about understanding the reality of easing back into exercise. First of all, we encourage people to never stop. Uh, fitness is a, is, a life, is a lifestyle and certainly um, they need to understand that uh, where they stop is where they stop and when they start back they do need to be realistic and understand that they can't just be right where they used to be. Before heading back it's important to have a good understanding of where you are health wise. We need to know first of all is where are they at now as far as their health goes so we have them fill out a health questionnaire and the trainer will sit down with that individual and we'll go over where they're at as far as what do they need. Do they have high blood pressure? Do they have a weight issue? What is it that they want to accomplish? And we take the information from that sheet and we'll apply it towards a program to help them get started, something that's realistic for them to get started. Part of exercising at a gym is focusing on yourself. Try not to worry about what others are doing around you. All bodies develop at different rates. You don't want to injure yourself or be sore days after for trying to outlift or outrun your neighbor at the gym. When in doubt, keep it low, slow, and light. Then as you progress, you will gradually work your way up. The, um, the first step you take is the first step towards a mile. That it's not, you don't need to do anything that's unrealistic. Have some uh, logical goals and some goals laid out. Like we encourage people not just to have a weight goal, but to have a size goal. You may have clothes that you can't quite fit into. Hang those clothes up, let that be a goal. On top of goal setting and lighter weights, stretching is a vital part of your overall health. An element that a lot of people miss out on is stretching. Especially as you get older, it doesn't matter if you're 65 years old and you're strong and you can run a mile, but if you can't bend over and touch your shoes, then that's not gonna help you as far as being able to maintain your health throughout the rest of your life. Maintaining good health is a lifestyle and through time and effort you will be able to reach your goals you set from day one. This is a lifestyle. It's not something that you can start and you can stop. It's something that hopefully that we can maintain. It is important to keep in mind not to focus on what others around you are doing. Only you can create the success for your own body. In Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 9 on your side.